Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling well. Hope you're all feeling strong. We're in the woods today, of course, beautiful day. And in this vlog, I'm gonna to talk to you about the benefits of using a monopod for vlogging. So before we get into the vlog, there's two types of shot that I'm gonna be demonstrating with the monopod today. We've got this one that we're doing right now with the monopod planted into the floor. So that gives ultimate stability while I'm standing still here. And then there is the monopod collapsed and walking or just handheld standing still. So there's the two scenarios. And what I want you to do in each scene, each time I change location in each scene, if you know what I mean, uh, just try and guess which one I am using. I hope you understand that. And what I'm basically saying is uh, have a guess which one I'm doing in each shot. When I change location, it'll be one or the other, have a guess and I'll put it on the screen or I'll tell you myself um, near the end of the take. Okay. Now the reason I started experimenting with the monopod and I want to share my experience with you is when I switched from the GoPro to the G9, the Lumix G9, and I don't regret it, absolutely amazing camera. When I switched, I found that uh, handheld, the G9 with it being a larger, one of the larger mirrorless uh, cameras, it was a little bit top heavy when uh, handheld. And this top heaviness, top heaviness, is that a word? Anyway, this uh, top heaviness uh, means you have to be a little bit more careful uh, trying to get the ultra stable footage. So I hope you're guessing on each take which method I am using. And this one, if you said I was using the monopod straight down onto the ground, you were absolutely correct. And the take before this was handheld. So it's just letting you know the differences. If you don't see any difference, maybe there's no need to use a monopod and this camera is stable enough. It's gonna be interesting for me as well. So you're seeing the footage as we go along. Make sure you make a guess on each take. When I change location, it'll be a different method or the same method. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, but I will let you know. And I'll let you know on the screen if I don't actually tell you. Now I've got to say that the stabilization on the Panasonic Lumix G9 is fantastic. So don't get me wrong, it's not that the stabilization is rubbish. As you will see throughout this vlog, it will be very hard to tell sometimes which method I'm using. So which method I'm using right now. If you thought it was monopod planted into the ground, then you are absolutely correct. So bear in mind, by the way, I'm on uh, Outlane Golf Course right now, so let's hope I don't get hit by a ball. We've all got a little bit more freedom now, and these guys are out playing golf. I'm sure they are happy to be back out. So we've got uh, unlimited exercise now here in the UK. Fantastic. So bear in mind that when I'm using the monopod handheld, that uh, it's collapsed up underneath the camera, still attached to the camera, and it kind of acts like the old fashioned Steadicam. It adds a little bit of weight underneath and keeps the camera steady. So can you guess whether I am handheld right now or is the monopod planted into the ground? If you guessed handheld, then you're absolutely correct. So I can walk about like this. So I'll just make my way around the edge of the golf course. Uh, yeah, so you can keep the monopod attached to the camera throughout your day's vlogging. It doesn't get in the way because it's really compact and lightweight. The monopod that I am using is the Manfrotto X-Pro four section monopod. Uh, there is a five section, um, it's pretty good, but I think the four section is the best all round, uh, best price. And uh, I'm using the aluminium one, there's a carbon fiber one, but I think the aluminium four section X-Pro is the best choice. That's the one that I'm using and I find it to be absolutely brilliant. And as you can see, you can do the handheld shots and the walking shots still. And it keeps it pretty steady. It does act like the old fashioned uh, Steadicam. And with the stabilization in the camera already, it's pretty good. So we are here at the ninth tee. It's uh, 320 yards and it's a par four. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Not a game I've ever been into golf. Uh, but uh, what I want you to do is, I want you to leave your comments in the comments section below, of course. Whether you have used a monopod, did you give it a go and just then go handheld? Have you got any creative tips for me? I'll tell you a little tip I found out today. I just turn the monopod upside down and do them low down sweeping shots with the camera upside down. Great, uh, do that in slow motion, fantastic. So if you can give me any other tips using a monopod, creative tips, um, I'd be interested in your thoughts. And I will also put a link to the two monopods that I mentioned earlier, the uh, four section X-Pro Manfrotto and the five section. 
So I'm keeping it quite local today, even though I do have unlimited freedom. So I will be getting out and about a little bit further afield at last. What a beautiful day today. So we are at a place called Quarmby and we're overlooking Huddersfield over there. You might be able to see the Emily Moore and Castle Hill in the distance. There is actually a skinny little tower next to Emily Moore because Emily Moore Mast is being renovated right now. So that uh, sister skinny one next to it, I don't think you'd better see it, is, is doing the work right now. So. Uh, which one am I using? Am I handheld or is the monopod planted into the ground? Well, if you said handheld, you are absolutely correct. This is handheld, so I can just walk off. <laughs> So the story goes that uh, when you're not looking, there is uh, an old lady's face in the window behind. That's something that I just made up. Don't know, really know why I did it. <laughs> I spooked myself now. So during this take, <laughs> also try and guess whether I'm using the monopod planted into the ground. And also keep an eye on that window and let me know if an old lady's face appears. <laughs> I've actually spooked myself now. So, um, <laughs> So as you can see throughout this vlog, uh, the stabilization in all the shots is really usable. So why bother with a monopod? Well, there are some other benefits and such as this shot is a really good example of it. Um, I'm not time pressured regarding holding the camera in front of me. So I've given it away. Uh, the monopod is planted into the ground, so I'm not taking the weight of the camera. So I don't feel pressured to get the words out before my arm gets tired. So it's really handy for that. So you can sort of relax and and, uh, and take your, take, how are we doing with that window? <laughs> so you can really relax and take your time over the shots. It's really good for that. And of course, as I mentioned before, really handy for B-roll, getting some different angles. You can really extend it and hold it high up and uh, upside down to get really low shots. Uh, so it really is a handy tool to be carrying around with you anyway. So it's not just about uh, stable shots. So we are allowed out for unlimited exercise now here in the UK and we can go further afield. So I'm really looking forward to getting out and about with my wild camping gear. Got a few little extra bits and bats and uh, I'm looking forward to getting back up to fitness. I think it's affected all our fitness, uh, not getting out and about, getting a little bit nesh as well. Sometimes even in the sunshine, I've been thinking, God, it's a bit, a bit chilly out here, been locked in too long. So looking forward to that. So uh, we've come to the end of this vlog. So we had a look at vlogging with a monopod. Hope you've enjoyed it. How did you do with the guessing game? Hope you joined in and uh, I have enjoyed your company of course on this walk or I would be all by myself. So that's it for this one. I upload a vlog every week so if you haven't already consider subscribing. Give me a like if you've liked this one and if I don't see you through the week I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>